In this video, we're going to talk about assignment number eight. This is based on extending uh, our Rails application using um, some of the things that I had in a, uh, just a series of video this, that was just released. Uh, when a user logs in, um, there will be, or you will create uh, a list of a number of different things that get added to the portfolio to the <clears throat> uh, for the application for uh, for a student. So, if someone clicks on the courses tab, for instance, there will be a list there of the courses that that student has taken. Um, they can add. Um, and then, of course, do any of the different modifications. Uh, the same behavior will happen with experience and skills, interests, and references. Um, you'll create models for all of those, and you will link them to the, uh, to the dashboard page. And so there should be a link here for each one of those. Uh, when a user logs in, their name is listed. There's a link on the home page, but also as they go to each one of the different pages, you will see a list of the things that are associated with that user. Uh, the behavior for this should be such that if they log out and someone else logs in, so example.com, then um, the list for that particular user should appear. So here is a list of courses for Jane Doe. Um, and so anyway, so that's the, um, that's the essence of what you're doing for this application. There is one thing that I, I guess you should be aware of as you're doing this is that there's a behavior where if you see, if you look at a particular course, there will be a link back that goes to would normally go to a list of all the courses and you need to change that link so that it goes just to that, um, for that, that student. Okay, so that's the...